Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Um, and today we are going to take oh, <laughs> we're going to take a tour of my refrigerator that I promised a couple of my YouTuber subscribers that I would do. So um, I figured since we're going to be doing this, I'm going to clean it at the same time. Um, so there's going to be a lot of stopping and starting, stopping and starting, and but it won't matter to you because I'm going to link it all together with my slice with my splice app, and so it'll just be one flowing video for you. But it is going to stop and go for me. So I'm going to now stop this video and then I'm going to turn the camera around. I'll show you the outside and the inside of my refrigerator because I show you the outside because. Um, I love putting pictures of all my family up there. So it's not going to be a, you know, zoned in, but it's just a quick so you can look at it and then I'm going to open up the refrigerator. I'm not going to do the freezer today, okay? And I told you I would do my pantry. I'm not going to do that today, but we are going to do my refrigerator. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the outside of my refrigerator. On the top is our cereal. That's where I always keep the cereal. And then I just have pictures, pictures, pictures galore on each side, okay? And the kids like to come and see that all the time. All right, so here we go. Oi, oi, oi. So here is my first uh, shelf. Here's my butter drawer. My first shelf. My second shelf. And my third shelf. Lots of condiments, I guess. And then my top shelf. My medium sh or my middle shelf and my bottom shelf and then we will open my drawers and those are my drawers all right so I'm gonna stop the camera I'm gonna pull everything out from my door where all the condiments are and we're gonna go through that and see what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna get rid of okay okay I'm back I have everything out of my uh, door for the condiment section. Now, right off the get-go, I know some of you are going to get mad at me because I'm throwing things away and you say that's a waste and how terrible. Wah, 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 wah. You're right. It's a waste. It's terrible. I should have uh, not bought it if I'm not going to use it. However, I am being more conscious about my buying and spending and food all that good stuff so there might be some throwaway here and uh, just bear with me okay I'm uh, this is improving my life as I go so I can't be perfect all the time you know I mean, I might think I am but I'm not <laughs> so I got some barbecue sauce here I just opened this up so I know it's still good the same thing with the ketchup I know it's good it will go back in I have some teriyaki marinade sauce that's fine that will go back in uh i have some ranch dressing best by 10 14 19 so i'm good on that i have some thousand island it's good till september 2019 so i'm good i have some balsamic vinegar it's i don't know it's i don't think it ever does good i don't know if it goes bad or not but i'll put it back in uh, I have some lemon juice. It's good till 7, 2019, so we're good on that. I, the ap apricot preserves are good. The boysenberry is good. The red raspberry is good. I guess this shows you I like a variety of uh, jams and jellies. I just opened the maraschino cherries for a recipe I did so that's okay and the Worcestershire sauce is good um, November 2016 for the Italian dressing so that is good mustard is fine so is my horseradish Frank's red hot sauce good let's see I'm thinking this is not good I've had this Parmesan cheese in there for a long time I don't know. Yeah, 12. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, that's going in the fridge. Um, bread and butter pickles are fine. 
and dill chip pickles are fine. You guys are going to cringe, but I am going to combine these two together. Nobody's going to know, but you, me, and the world after this video. So, <laughs> husband's going to get one and be like, oh, that one was sweet. Oh, what the heck? That one was tart. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so that's fine. I put my soy sauce in this because we get the big tub of it. All right, here's a problem. I have three pestos. This one's never been opened, and it's good till t February 2021. I didn't even know they could last that long. Then this one, February 2021, and February or July 2020. I guess they're still good. Okay. And then I have a little bit of pickle relish. It's still good. My mustard is okay, I think. Oh no, it expired. Uh, whipped cream I know is good. December 2018, oh shit. And August 2019, okay, so that can stay. Five, 2019. March, we're into May. March. I'm going to keep these. I think they should be fine. Okay, so I threw a few things away. I'm going to go put these back, then I'm going to get the top, uh, the top shelf. All right, shelf. you guys, we are on to the top shelf. I have to say, I already have extra room on my door. So, we'll start out with, I have two Parmesan cheeses here, the fresh grated Parmesan. This one is still sealed in April 2019, but I'm gonna keep it because it will be fine. This one is June 2019. So I shouldn't have opened this one until I finished this one, but I'm gonna keep both of them. They should be okay. Um, more bread and butter pickles. I don't have room to put them in there, but those are okay. I got two bags of garlic. So I'm going to combine it into one bag and teach myself, use up one bag before you start another bag, Patty. But they're still good, so I'm going to use them. Then I have some hummus I just bought, so that's fine. And I just bought the sour, or the cottage cheese, that's fine. And the sour cream is still good. I have more cream cheese, May 2019, looks okay, I'm going to keep it, and March 2019, oh I guess I'm going to throw that away, me bad, alright, yogurts, I have a tendency to let my yogurts expire. I know I just bought that one. Sometimes it's hard to find the dates on them. Here we go. June 2019, so that's good. February 2019. April 2019. I don't like to get expired yogurt. February 2019. May, I'll keep that one. April. May 2019, okay. I have some mushrooms, they're fine. This is a bag of hot dogs we use for our dog. He likes a treat, he gets a, like a half one at night and a half one during the day, so he's fine. I just made this guacamole up this morning, so it's fine. So I kind of did have to throw a lot of yogurts away. I'm not happy about that, but I'll be more conscious from now on. I'll be back with shelf All number right, two. All right, on to shelf number two, the middle shelf. Two 18 packs of eggs here. This 18 pack is almost empty, but they're both good, so they'll go back in the fridge. The creamer is good. 
The V8 is good. The milk is good. My crystal light is good. I have a half jar of marinated artichokes. Nothing wrong with those. I have some Granzella garlic stuffed olives. Good. I have some celery, still crisp and good. And a package of bacon. So everything on this shelf was a thumbs up, okay? Yay! I feel so bad about all this that I'm throwing away, but definitely will be more conscious from now on. So I'll go put this back and get right, the bottom guys, shelf. Alright, guys, I'm onto the bottom shelf. I gotta tell you, this is a little bit exhausting. So. <laughs> All right, I have this jar of salsa. I opened it up. It says to sell by 5119. It really doesn't smell bad or look bad, so I'm just going to put it into a smaller container and we'll consciously try to use that up in the next uh, few days. But it, it looks fine, so I'm going to keep it. Um, and you know, it's a good thing that I am cleaning this out because I saw that I have a sour cream on the bottom shelf. It's good till July, but it was tucked way underneath. I must have done it when I got home from grocery shopping, so I'm glad I did that so that I have it and I know when I'll put it on the top shelf. Uh, I have some cheese sauce here. Good till September. Looks all right. I got some baby carrots. They're fine. Some leftover lemon frosting I could use for something, I don't know. I've got another thing of pickles, way too many pickles, but they're fine. I just opened this mayonnaise up so I know it's good. Half drank of my buy blueberry, but it's fine. This is some homemade cream cheese frosting I just finished making not but a couple days ago, so it's fine. I got some leftovers of pork and um, stuffing. I'm going to have to use this up in the next couple days, but it is fine. The leftover broccoli salad, it's almost all gone. It'll be gone by tomorrow. And then this was the beans that I made last night. And they're still, of course, good. So, another thumbs up to this shelf. Okay, now I'll go to the drawers. Oh my gosh, this is so okay, tiring. Okay, so we're at our meat and cheese drawer. This just shows you a lot of times you go grocery shopping and you don't pay attention to what you have in your refrigerator. You don't make a list out before you go, and then you're not sure if you have it or not, and you buy it again, AKA too much American cheese. Good thing is that it's still all okay, so there's no waste there. Uh, I have a brick of Monterey Jack that said it expired 425.19 doesn't have any mold on it because it hasn't been opened, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep it. I just bought this cheese, and it's fine till July. Um, some pepperoni from a salad I made. August 2019. So here's another example. I went and bought another one of these, and this one is December 2018, June 2019. So that's going in the fridge. I just bought this, so it's fine. And some lunch meat. April 2019. My gosh. I don't know. I haven't opened it up right now. It looks fine, but I'll open it up to see what happens. So that wasn't so good, but my gosh, I'm learning a lesson okay. through all this. One or two more drawers to go and we're done. <clears throat> I have an orange bell pepper. It's got one little spot on it, but I think if I use it up in the next day or two, it'll be fine. I have some pepper jack cheese. That's fine. Three links of sausage left. That's fine. Some shredded Colby Jack cheese. July 2019. I'm good on that. Uh, some Winco cheese, uh, Swiss cheese, December 2018, and then some cheddar cheese, January 26, 2019. Well, that's a lot of money I've just wasted, huh? 
No wonder I'm on a blackout month now, huh? All right, one more drawer to go. All right, last one. drawer to go. I had some flour tortillas, and they're fine. I have one zucchini. It needs to be used up soon, but it's okay for right now. And some eggs, Parmesan cheese, and it's fine. All right, you guys, that's the end of my refrigerator cleaning. It's a hard lesson learned for a person, huh? Yeah, a lot of waste went into that garbage bag, and that's why I think this month it really hit home for me to do a blackout month and use what I have in my pantry and my refrigerator and freezer so that I don't continue to have to do that. So I know a lot of you are probably just appalled that I had to throw all that stuff away and I'm sorry I did, but um, I did. It is what it is. And so onward and upward. And from now on I will, um, you know, rotate better and use up what I have before I buy more and make shopping lists according to what I have first in my refrigerator and freezer. So thank you guys. That was a hard challenge for me actually mentally and physically and emotionally because I feel bad for what I've wasted. But it was an eye opener that's for sure. So, all right, you guys. Well, thanks for watching all the way through. And uh, don't forget to, uh, good God, I don't even know if I want you to share this one. <laughs> but, uh, but hit subscribe and, you know, leave me comments. Be nice on me, okay? Be nice to me because uh, I know a lot of you are not going to be happy with this video. So, all right. Bye-bye, guys.